Hey everyone, this is Buddha and this is my 10,000 views special. I have just recently gotten 10,000 views on my new YouTube channel. So I just wanted to thank everyone for supporting this new channel that I have created and thanks for watching. I'll keep posting if you keep watching. So thanks a lot for that. Now, I will explain the purpose of this game later, but this video will essentially be um how do I put this? A Compil compilation of flawed thinking from mostly low level players in StarCraft 2. And low level, I will consider low level as platinum and below. Um, Diamond is kind of medium low, and Master Up, let's face it, is medium high. So, um, and I do know, by the way, this video will get so much hate, and that is great. The more the merrier. Love is welcome to, of course. Love and hate relationships are the best. So, not only that, but I will try and justify everything I say in this video. So, after that, if you still have some hate, bring it on. And also, try and watch the whole video before you start raging and hating there is nothing worse than someone just hating and about something that I say later on and that's just stupid so watch the whole thing if you're actually gonna hate and rage against me and uh, try also to bring more to the discussion and like you're wrong or you're a retard or shut the bleep up mother bleep or try to be constructive please in your comments if you're gonna comment on this video Alright, so before I start, a little about me. I've been playing a lot of StarCraft 2 lately since I recently graduated and have nothing to do during the summer. And just so you think I'm not a bum, I will mention that I have a great job coming up in September as well as following my master's, so I am not a bum, I'm just taking a break. And so I've been playing a lot of StarCraft 2, a lot of streaming, a lot of commentating, casts, and most importantly for this video, I've been coaching a lot and mostly low-level players. And shout out to Daniel, by the way, Demon Blood, who actually got a lot better thanks to my coaching. I do think so. He did give me good feedback on it, and I love to see that it was actually useful. So that's awesome. Thanks, Demon Blood. And well, during this swell of StarCraft II in my life, I've come, <laughs> come across many, many, many flawed thoughts about the game. You have no idea. And really, it's especially from low-level players, so I'll try and keep that um, focused on the low-level players and to try and demystify these thoughts. And I will be justifying my claims, so don't worry. If you still have rage, then let it loose. Anywho, this will lo look like a lot of hate, but remember, it's not. It's all love, and hopefully it will get uh, everyone to get a it will help everyone to get a clear view about what the game is actually is actually is where it's heading and how to actually get better at it now let's get started the first point the most important point i've come across and this isn't the icing on the cake it's the whole it's a whole cake it's a whole thing okay and it's actually a great base to easily get uh, a lot better in the game and to get to platinum or diamond quite easily and this is how I came across it right so I was in a chat a clan chat channel in uh, in game and a platinum zerg approaches the channel and says this was a uh, AOF winger by the way so he wanted me to mention it in this video that's awesome great guy and he asked hey guys what's a good strategy for a zerg facing a Terran player the channel was kind of um, inactive, so I look at his profile, I see that he's platinum, and I step in and tell and say, well, I think that below high diamond or even masters, uh, you don't, pretty much every strategy will go do better macro overall will win the game no matter what your strategy is. So obviously this sparks a conversation because, well, let's face it, and I'll skip the details, but it came down to, well, prove it. And so we found a mid to high platinum Terran player for me to play, for me to go against. And now I'm by by no means a pro. I am just a good, decent, fairly fairly strong diamond player. Hopefully I'll be heading to Masters soon. And uh, the chosen strategy for me to go for was Roach Hydra against Terran, which is usually not suggested. 
suggested and some people will even say it's horrible. So in this game, I am not allowed to build anything besides roaches and hydras and this is the game. This the game that we are watching right now. Now, uh, we'll be watching it and I want to thank uh, Jasrin, Ga Jasrin, anyways, for helping me with this game. He is our mid to high platinum player. And, um, well, this will basically prove this point that uh, macro, better macro will pretty much win against with any strategy. So, so here's the lesson to actually pull from this. As long as you're not in Masters League, you should screw micro. Now, I'm not saying micro isn't important. It's just not as important as all the other stuff in the game. This is an economy-based game, okay? Uh, micro is really overestimated because that's what the pros do, that's what makes them awesome, and that is what's impressive in the game. But, I mean, uh, as long as you're not in the very high top tier of players, so as long as you're playing low-level games, because Diamond is also low level, by the way. I'll consider that as low level. Really, um, Micro is really not that important. You're probably, a lot of people are probably thinking, well, I'm Platinum and my Macro really, really sucks. But you're relying on Micro in a game that at its core is an economy based play, and that is StarCraft 2. Imagine how good your play would be if you could actually macro and micro at the same time, since your micro is already good. And that's the hard part. It's actually doing both at the same time. And really, any strategy will do if your macro is better than your opponent's. Okay, I'll let that sink in just for a second. Really, macro, macro, macro is all you really, really have to worry about. And uh, once that's done, then there's scouting, then there's decision making based on your scouting information, then there's army positioning that's really underrated, there's base management, you actually have to hold off your bases when you play a game, a little Hellion harass here, and there's map control, there's harassment, and then there's micro. You might think that harassment and micro is the same thing, it's not. Um, as I said, you can harass without microing. I mean, drops are a kind of harassment, and you can do them without microing. You can actually shift Q your actions to drop and just suicide your drop in the main base, and it will do a lot of damage. You don't actually have to micro it around after this. Saving the drop is, of course, very good, but it's not essential at the top. Really, the micro is not even the icing on the cake. It's the cherry on top. It's really the last thing you should worry about. Good. Now that that's out of the way, we'll keep watching this game. You will see that I succeed into proving my point. I actually think at one moment that I might have overemphasized the point and I might even... I think I will lose this game, but I eventually come back, but you'll see. It's not a big deal. And uh, we'll get to the fun part at this point. The hating, hating and the raging... And I, I, I repeat, it's not actual hate or rage, I'm just trying to help, so don't take it personally if you're watching this video. And this brings me to the second point. Imbalanced, <laughs> imbalanced and overpowered units or builds. Now, these are big words. They've been thrown around a lot. Now, how many of you have actually been in a game, and you win, and let's say with uh, Infestors? Okay, to stay with the latest crave. And before the guy leaves, he said, Oh my god, infestors are so infestors are so overpowered. -la 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 -la. It's a joke. Or you lose and he goes, Ha 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 how do you lose with infestors? You're so bad, infestors are so OP. Lol Now seriously. Seriously. What the f Did these guys honestly lose their brains in a bar bed or something, you, can on, you can't honestly tell me that you believe that, um, <laughs> let me just lower my sounds here for a second, I think that this will actually get a bit louder than my voice. Alright, so you can't honestly tell me that you can base 
your decision on over on if something is overpowered or not on a single game like that, even a hundred game isn't enough. Now, enough raging. Let me explain. I'm a strong believer in the philosophy of skill is overpowered. What, I'm, what I mean by this is that no matter what balance issues there are in the game, Huck, Nesty, Polt, any other pros will all beat you, no matter what, okay? No matter what imbalance issues there are in the games, pros will beat you. Sorry if you're a pro, they might not beat you. This implies that if you lose to something, it might not be overpowered. Think about it. You might just suck against it. And I don't mean this in a mean way. Just It's a fact. You might just suck about it. We all suck at one point. So, read a forum, watch Day 9, visit Liquipedia, ask questions about how to deal with the build before saying something is overpowered. Because, obviously, if someone out there has managed to deal with it, he has posted it, and obviously someone has managed to deal with it. Not if. Someone has managed to deal with it. Now, if you truly believe that something is imbalanced, you better have something good to bring to the table. And not just something like, oh my bleeping god, this is overpowered. Take in consideration that Blizzard actually have full-time employees with all the stats on all the stats every single games ever played on Battle.net and that pros have actually been playing this game 18 hours a day, 7 days a week for the past year then consider that all those pros, all those people have actually managed to win at least a couple of games against all strategies and all units composition that exists now there, so that proves that there is actually a way to beat pretty much anything now if you actually still believe that you have something interesting constructive and intelligent to say about balance I will welcome it and I will gladly listen and start a non angry conversation about it with you uh, now that brings me to stop whining about about imbalance if you actually focus on getting better instead of whining ag against imbalance trust me you will if you do, you will. And I take some of it back because Koreans are overpowered. Period. No questions asked. Let's face it, Koreans are just overpowered. That's a fact. Everyone, everyone knows that. Now, the third and final point I am going to make in this 10,000 special video is more of a compilation of annoying things that low level players tend to do and I have faced a lot of low level players I like to hang out in these popular channels so I do talk to them a lot and this particularly applies to bronze players sorry if you're bronze and they, they really tend to do this a lot more so I try I ask you all you players out there to try and avoid these things one Stop saying that you're bronze and that you play at a platinum level, okay? Or any other combination of that formulation. Don't be ashamed of your games. If you're, if you're bronze, just say you're bronze. And let the gold player know that you play at the platinum level by kicking his ass. He will discover that by himself, okay? Plus, no one actually cares if you're bronze, gold, or masters. So they'll only care if you're grandmasters. When you're at that point, you can say you're grandmaster and play at a grandmaster level. That